What's up, fam? How are you doing? Thanks for stopping by another episode of Mom, Dad, and the Girls DIY. On today's episode, we're going to be changing out our whole home water filter. Now, these need to be changed out every six months to 50,000 gallons, depending on your usage and the sediment level of your local water supply. Uh, it is a quick and easy DIY, so I'm going to show you how to do that right now. But first, be sure to like, share, and subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already. And hit the bell icon so you never miss when we make a new video. Now, this may differ depending on what model you have, but most of these housings and filter installs are all going to be the exact same uh, if you have the same size. Now, what you're going to need to do this is a new filter insert, new filter cartridge, some food safe grease. You are going to need your housing wrench and a little bit of know-how, but I got you there. Come on. All right, our first step is we're gonna pull off this uh, dust cover off of our water softener, because it is here in the garage that I do use as a wood shop. So we got that covered, but we have some valves and stuff back here that we need to gain access to. Yours might be in a different uh, location, depending on when or where you had it installed in your home. So for us, we're just gonna pull all this off. Let it slide down a little bit to gain access to the valves that we have going on back here. Uh, we did plumb this in a way where we have to take this lid off in order to get this, but when you hit this purge valve, instead of hitting on the floor, it should drain into the brine tank. We will see. The first thing that you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna shut off the supply line to the water filter itself. For us, it's right here. So we just turn this ball valve and now we have stopped the water flowing to it, but there's still pressure built up. The easiest way to relieve that pressure is to go to the nearest faucet, go ahead and crank that bad boy on and let it drain all the water out and that'll relieve this pressure. Let's do that now. Some of you may have the water shut off on the outside of the home. This shuts off to the main. Uh, the way ours is plumbed, it actually, uh, it's easier to do it on the inside now. We have the bypass and everything there, but some of you may have to go outside to shut off the water supply to that filter. For us, the closest faucet to drain and to relieve the pressure is right here on the outside. So we're just going to kick it on and see there's not a whole lot of water left in there. That's how you know you've done it right. We just like to leave it on. That way the pressure goes out there. So let's get back inside. Now that we are back inside, we're going to take a rag. We're going to dust off the top of this just to make sure nothing gets in there. Same thing up here. And then we're going to hit this red pressure relief valve. It works like designed. What do you know? Just let that drain. Sometimes it go on the floor. You can use a bucket you can put under it. Like for us, like I said, it was plumbed in a way where I knew it would drain right back in the brine tank. And as soon as all the water stops, you know you're going to be good to go. Might take a few minutes. If you, hear, if you don't hear any hissing or popping or bubbling or air coming out of it, you know most of the pressure is, is gone. So I think we're going to be good. We'll just dry it off. We'll set this over here. And you want to take your housing wrench. Stick it on there. Right, let's stick it back. Back one. Nice and so. And then you want to brace against the actual filter itself. And there you go. This is going to be full of water. So again, you want to have a bucket or something like that under it to catch it all. You can go ahead and dump this pretty much anywhere. You can actually see how nasty that became. It looked like something had ruptured. That's wild. If you've plumbed in a bypass, you want to do that. And we have. So we're going to turn the water back onto the house. We're going to go out here and rinse this off. all nice and cleaned up. Now 
Make sure all that debris is completely out of there. You are clean, good to go. All right, go ahead and take filter housing, set it somewhere safe. You're gonna make sure you have a rag close by. Just to dry your hands and stuff off. Grab your grease, inspect the O-ring right here at the top. Then take you just a little squeeze of this grease and go all along the top. This is going to prevent that o-ring from binding and catching up in here when you're screwing this on and tearing. You don't want any tears in your o-ring. So again, you want some just food safe silicone plumber's grease for this step. Just get it nice and coated. I so said you do not want it to bind, you don't want it to pinch or rip or tear this over because then we can find a new one. That's no fun. All right, once you got enough grease on there, your rag comes back in handy. Put the lid back on your grease. Set it over there. Now it's time to open your filter. And that literally just sets right down there on top of that. Slide that in, make sure it's fitted. And this goes on the exact way you took it off. Give that in there nice and tight. Give it a good little, you can brace it. You don't want to go too tight because you do not want to break that housing. But now you're good to go. I want to put the lid back on my brine tank. And now is when I'm going to turn off supply to the house. Open up the supply to the filter. So I fill that filter full. Then we're going to go ahead and open the supply back to the house. And again, that's how you change out a whole home filter. This is the AquaShore. Uh, it's using the model AFSCZ25HFS. There is a couple other, uh, or there are a couple other com uh, companies that make filters for this that will actually filter out even more than this filter does. Uh, it'll filter out chloramine and a bunch of other stuff. We're actually gonna switch over to that because our county just switched over to using um, ammonia to treat their water and that equals chloramine and that doesn't get removed with just your standard carbon filter. So this one's gonna run for the next few months and then we're gonna switch it out to the other ones because you have this one already. Uh, but it's pretty quick, pretty easy. If you found this helpful, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe. Let me know down in the comments below if you'd like to hear anything, have any questions, what have you. We're here for you, I'll try to answer them myself. But we're a wrap, grab you a towel, wipe up any residual water, make sure it all dries. We're in Florida, it's in a garage, it's going to dry but you might not be, so make sure it's dry. You don't want any residual water just sitting around, but that is how we change this filter. At the end of our videos, we always say, peace. Thanks so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do that by clicking the circle logo right here on your screen. Also, if you haven't seen our newest vlog, it's waiting on you right there. If you've already watched that one, we picked the video out just for you. Again, as always, we appreciate you watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. At the end of our videos, we always say, peace. peace.